your hair back. Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays, and welcome to the State Fair. This is World 2 of Bubsy, I think, if you can call it that. Every world has three levels to it, and each has a different aesthetic, different kind of a theme. This one is the carnival. Hopefully you enjoy that. If you enjoy going to carnivals, viewers, if you enjoy carnivals and summer fall festivities like this, like the video, comment, subscribe. As I've learned, some states in the US and A, they will have their state fairs or like big fall festivals um, or summer festivals at different times, which I think is interesting. Okay, how do I, how do, I do this? How do I get you to, let me up there. Okay, whoa. Whoa, what is happening? Where am I? A <laughs> uh, game? <laughs> what is happening? I'm trying to glide down that. Okay. We'll try that again. Hopefully this is like an endless jump, maybe? Okay. Anytime now. How do I do this? Am I just timing it poorly? Is this my illusion of guy ramps? Please don't be. There we go. I want this. There we go. One of the things that I've learned in my time playing this game as a child and an adult is that uh, life management is huge. They give you a lot for a reason because this game is brutal as you get going. So I would say do your best to bank as many as you can and be careful. Bubsy's hitbox is pretty huge, so it is really easy whoa, to get hit in the face of the big old wiener. No, it's very easy to lose lives, and you obviously don't want that if you want to beat this game. So, hands up if you appreciated that. All right. So, curiously, viewers, for those of you that have been to an amusement park and have potentially gone on a roller coaster, hands up, hands down. My last trip to an amusement park, I went with a few friends, and, uh, whoa, see, that's the one thing that's really rough, is anything can basically kill Bubsy in this game, so, you're given a lot of lives, but that's probably because you're going to lose a lot of lives. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scoot past you, whoa, don't forget to glide as well, if Bubsy hits the ground too hard, he will die. But my last trip to an amusement park. Oh, here we go. This is invincibility or like kills everything power. I don't know. Oh, it does. I'm just going to do a little bit of run and gun here. Whee! Ooh. And you can daze yourself too by running into walls. Doesn't kill you, thankfully. Not kill you though. Get rid of these boys. Oh, that was clutch. Anyway, uh, I'd gone with some friends and one of my lady friends... Um, as women often have to deal with, I've learned, uh, was wearing pants that didn't have pockets. So my job for the day, which was great, uh, was holding her phone. Now the downside to, ooh, what's up there? The downside up there, no, that's up there. The downside to me having to do that was it made me very anxious. I obviously didn't want to learn to lose her cellular telephone device and, um, I, uh, was not able to enjoy myself putting my hands up on her eyes. I was holding my pockets the whole time. All right, so here's this. Uh, here's another one of these bonuses. It's really tempting to jump in these. Uh, but you have to be, you have to really time it well. Because it's very simple to get booted out just like that. So if you're going to do that, just mind yourself. Ooh, here's some rocket ships. Wee! There's all kinds of animations for Bubsy. He's hiding, he puts his hands up. He's just having a good time. What's your favorite carnival activity, viewers? Or, you know, food? You know, do you like the fair fries? I know for a lot of people that's the common answer, which I feel is, I don't know. Like, I get it. Oh, did that kill me? I did not know that was gonna hey, do that. Unfortunately, that did uh, cost a life. People will say fair fries. I get it. You know, everybody likes a good French fry here in the U.S. and A. I'm not a big French fry guy. I've never really been. 
Oh, this bird lost its eggs. I'm gonna... All over them. Never been a big french fry person, ever. So... I wouldn't say that I avoid them, but I don't... Like, if someone's like, hey, here, have some french fries. I'm not gonna be a goober and be like, no, I don't wanna eat any of those. But I'm also not gonna go and buy the big bucket. But I do like the ones that, when you do that, you can... They normally come with like a spray bottle of, what is it? Like vinegar, which I think is kind of a strange application, but it works. It does exactly what you need it to. Okay, now pay attention to this very curvy door here. Um, that is actually going to be part of the gimmick that occurs later on in this level, oh boy. Oh, that is, okay. I'll give it to you a game that was cheap. These levels are a bit sprawling, so You'll have to... I mean, they give you a lot of time on purpose, but... You'll have to be careful when you're exploring. Alright, I'm gonna try to... Ooh, go the route that I did before. Seem to be... Okay. It's a little frustrating because you just want to do, like, a run and gun. But then the reality is that when you do that, there's a good chance that you're gonna land on something that you shouldn't. Alright. Just like that. Is this the end? Ooh, thank you. Okay. Something else I learned as well is the yarn balls do not impact the amount of lives that Bubsy has, so 100 yarn balls is not a life, just to be clear. I mean, everybody wants to have more balls, but it's all for posterity. Alright, so that's level one down. That only took six-ish minutes. Night of the Bobcat. Is Bubsy, Bubsy a Bobcat? Oh wait, hold on. There's gotta be a life over here. There's a little thing. Right? Why is this here? All right, that upsets me. Ooh, little wall to run into as well. Yeah, th this game has all kinds of gimmicks put in it that are little trickerations, just like that. Apparently there was fireworks in between that jump that... I thought I saw Elvis back there. That's a reference that I don't understand. Uh, did not grow up in the era of Elvis, obviously, because I'm not old. All right, I saw this. This is what this game does, though. It has, like, little little gimmicks and tricks. Which I like. Can I stand on this? No. No, I didn't mean to do that! Thankfully, these teleporters are two-way. Unless they're not, so... There's gotta be a life up here or something. Black cat shirt, maybe? Going all the way up here. There we go. I will take that. Like I said, uh, keep those keep those lives high. You will absolutely need them in the future, especially for boss fights, which will occur at the third level of every world. Ooh. Yeah, it's very tempting just to take off and run. Um, and the game, so ooh, there's another life right there. I didn't know that. The game semi encourages that, but it also will punish you. So. Just be mindful of that. I feel like running on a roller coaster track is probably not a good idea. You ever hear those like crazy stories of people going, you know, when they're at like an amusement park with their family and they go and they lose a hat or they lose their phone or something along those lines and then they cross the restricted area to go back and get it and they wind up getting their like head chopped off. Yeah, don't do that. How traumatizing would that be? I mean, on all accounts, realistically, oh, I'm stuck in here. To be a kid, you're wearing your favorite snapback hat at the old Six Flags Park, potentially. And then, uh, for some reason, your smooth brain convinces you that it's a good idea. Let me jump on this. It's a good idea to uh, go get it. And you've got uh, someone's legs dangling and just punts your head like a soft football. Unfortunate. I'm not trying to make light of that, by the way. That's obviously incredibly traumatic for everybody involved. You know, especially the person who's getting their head chopped off. I guess that's probably maybe a more crude way to put it than I should be, but I think you understand what I'm trying to get at. Whoa! Yeah, that's the... Ooh, that's the downside of this is... There's a lot of moments in this game which don't really resonate as problematic. And you will see that they unfortunately are. 
especially if you're not careful, which I'm trying to be. I know what sort of dangers await. I mean, sort of, I guess. Not in the order that they happen. I'm not... I don't pre-plan these, these episodes. I don't play these levels ahead of time. Uh, I just know that these are the shenanigans that this game is capable of. Still really hard to avoid. A lot of it is dangers that are something you have to react to in the moment. And this being a platformer, of course, if you're not <laughs> fully aware of what those dangers are, there's a good... Oh! I hit glide and it didn't let me... Alright. So this is starting to get a little repetitive. I apologize. I'm going to try to scoot a little bit faster here. The only downside... This is kind of what this game does. Is it lulls you into a sense of... Uh, like, you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again. And then in the process, your self-preservation skills go down a little bit. You wind up getting hit by a cheese wheel bird or... You know, the pelican dropping eggs and stuff, or that thing. Just make sure that you're always... ABG. Always be gliding, okay? So this is the successor to the ABJ of Donkey Kong. Always be jumping, always be gliding. ABG. This is the end. Thank goodness. So many big old balls for us to slap around. Nice. I feel pretty good about that. Bum, 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 bum. Not bad. And they give you a ton of time in these levels, so... Obviously don't rush. Uh -oh. Our fearless leader, that's good. Yeah, the chapter titles all are all puns, and I appreciate that. As somebody who is not a dad, but has dad comedy level energy, it's obviously a great fit for me. How, did, how, what is the, how does this work? Do I have to hit it from a higher... I don't know. Maybe I have to hit it from a higher spot. There we go. Whoa, yes. Alright, I think there is a two... Two life in here somewhere. This is the final level of this world, obviously. Um, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, there's a life in here too, I think. Maybe? Is this a life or is this a... How do you get in there? On the other side? Maybe? Ooh, yeah. Go out of your way to get those. Oh, it was a trap. If you can finish this world with like double digit lives, then you're in good shape. Oh, this is a poor idea. Ooh. Okay, so the game clearly does not want you to go this way. Um, there's just so many paths you can take. Ooh. I'm gonna get rid of you guys. Make sure you kill the bird brains. The Kremlins of this game, of course. Yeah, I love everything about this game. The difficulty, of course, is a little frustrating. Um, but I feel like the difficulty is incredibly situational for now. I don't know how tough this game is going to get. I've only... Uh, full disclosure, I've only gotten as far... Um, as the next world, I think, like the one that's after this, I, I'm not 100 percent sure, because this is my first time playing this game in adulthood. So that is TBD. I would love to get on one of these rocket ships. Roger to the moon. Whoa. Okay. I think that in one of these rocket ships, oh boy, there might be access to a life. Come on. Come on, you were, you were down here before. What is wrong with you? Stop. I do love this, though. Puppy's like, oh wee, I'm having fun. Bubsy can't talk, though, as you noticed. Oops. Oh, boy. Ooh. I'm not trying to pad this out at all. I do want to get this over with in a reasonable amount of time, but I guess for a platformer, this game does encourage certain elements of exploring, which I think is nice. And once again, the yarn balls 
do not add up to anything. Oh my gosh. They don't add up to anything besides points. So what is down there? Oh, is that a bubble? What do these do? I don't quite understand. They're just points. Might just be another collectible. All right, I saw you throwing eggs over here. I'm like very cautiously approaching this. No. <laughs> oh. I'm just nervous because I know the boss of this world gives me fits, or it used to, probably, if I had to guess, still does. And why wouldn't they put a... <sighs> Stop. I do like the stopping animation. The doo -doo. All right, here you go, you jerk. I love that sound of the eggs. No! Ooh! That was maximum butthole puckerage right there. I felt that in my in my region. All right, so wieners and cream. Cannot have the cream. It gives me, ooh, need that. All right, please don't throw any shenanigans in my way. One of the things you're gonna have to deal with here in a little bit, this is the final level of this world and I know that it has a, um, yes, here it is. So here is the, I'm gonna do this. I like this animation. Apologies if you don't like that sound. Um, this is the gimmick of this level, um, the labyrinth. We'll see if I can remember the pattern here and if I can keep myself safe for all of this. So much cream, creamy wieners flopping all around. All right, I think it's the I'm gonna explore a little bit, just because I have eight minutes. See, they're afraid of Bubsy, right? All right, Ooh. I wanna see if there's, so you gotta pace yourself. I wanna see if there's any lives down here as well. Any goodies. I think it's kind of rude that they don't give you a whole lot of time in between the teleport. All right, so the big thing that you're gonna try to do, okay, that's rude is those curvy doors, those are the ones that will send you the right direction. Not these ones, same shape, but you gotta go with the brown ones. Brown curvy doors are the path forward, not this one. These doors kind of remind me, if any of you have played, um, I'm sure some of you have, uh, Super Mario Land 3, Wario, whatever, whatever it's called. Um, that game has kind of those curvy doors, but those have like skulls on them, which are way spookier. I don't think it's this door, but there are... Oh, game! Mm -hmm. All right. So that was exploring. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know the pattern. We'll see if I'm about to eat some crow here in a moment. I'm just gonna go right to the source here. Ooh, got a floppy wiener trying to distract me. Always trying to get distracted by those big wieners. Okay, so heading down here. This doesn't look right. I don't like this. Oh, you only engage when I do. Yeah, I don't like that. That seems like a recipe for disaster. I'm gonna try blue. I think blue is the way to go. And then. I think we've pretty much killed everything. Okay, there's boys down here. Maybe red door. I said I knew what the pattern was and now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I do. Welcome to D-Mike Industries where trial and error is the way to go, especially error. How else are we supposed to learn? Never make the same mistake twice. I mean, that's good advice, I guess, in like a very general sense, but then also it kind of discourages you from getting slightly better at something because I mean, it's not it's not impractical to make the same mistake twice, I guess, like it should be a caveat. You know, don't make the same mistake twice without learning from why you made that mistake. I feel like this is death. Why would they put that there? Is that all that is? Is just a ball? Oh, maybe you need this. I also love this music, it's very doofy. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. And you see how rude that is? Ooh, there's a kill everybody shirt. Okay, 
Well, maybe this makes me feel slightly better about this. Over here. Okay. That's just a distraction. But the invincibility star is nice. What does this do? Oh, pfft. <laughs> All right. I like that. All right, Bubsy, get up. You've probably already given him multiple concussions. Concussions are no joke, by the way. I've never personally had one, but I know people that have... Oh, that was so stupid. Uh -oh. Wanted to finish this level with double digit lives. Clearly not gonna happen. I started with what, 14? Or 12? 14? Whatever it was. I've lost nearly a third. I thought I knew which way to go, but I am having trouble remembering. In my amnesiac state, my short term memory loss. Alright, I feel like this this looks familiar. Let's go red. If you're going into areas that have enemies still, that's a really good indicator that you're going the right direction. Also, are you kidding me? I had that cream right at my behind. Uh -oh. I sat right down on it and it did not, it did not give me the benefit of the doubt here. I'm, yeah, I'm really, I'm really nervous about this. I've got a feeling that I'm gonna enter the next world with like five or something because I sought to fight the boss and there is no guarantees conveniently though I do believe that they give you the um there's a checkpoint right before the boss I think which is nice the downside to killing everything is that when you go through it's so sad that I don't like I'm playing this and my memory is like instantly just negating what I just did Oh boy. Yeah, this level was not meant to be this long. Or this episode. But here we are. Yeah, they do give you a checkpoint right before you get to the boss, which is nice. These creepy clowns are weird. Viewers, are you bothered by clowns? I can't say I have any sort of a problem with them, but I don't seek them out. I don't know if anybody does. Oh, that was clutch. Nice. All right, let's not get creamed twice. There we go. This is how you know you're on the right track, these doors. And this is a little bit of a gap here. Mind the gap. I don't know what happens if you go. Oh, thank goodness. And this is the final door, you can tell, because it's gold. And everything glitters. That Everything that glitters is gold. All right, so we're going to do this, because I know that the boss is right after this. And it does give you a checkpoint. Make sure you grab this or you're doing that entire thing again. And that's the tricky part. Yeah. So here we go. Here's the boss. This boss sucks. I don't like this one at all. Because <laughs> it's so easy to die. That be uh -oh. That's the, the annoyance here. Oh boy, here we go. I don't really know if there's a good way to do this. I think it just dodge as best as you can. Them dragging their big old balls on you. Show me your face! Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. No. No. Stop it. Yes! Second try. AKA first try. Not bad. Okay. Eight lives going into the next world. Uh, having my life count is not exactly what I wanted to do, but I feel pretty good about that. There's a password if you want to follow along what I did. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with Bubsy. And I'll catch you next time for World 3. Thanks for watching. Bye.